welcome back to my channel plans with amanda in this video today we're going to be doing an unboxing for a couple of products that grabby sent to me uh, they reached out to me and wanted to know if i was interested in um them sending me more products i've done this before once and what that means is is that they'll send me products that i can show on my channel and then i'm able to provide you guys with a coupon code and so it helps them to um, reach more people and to share their uh their shop and um, products with others and it allows us as content creators the opportunity to try new things and um, just let our viewers see different items and things that are available so we're going to go ahead and start by unboxing what they sent me they did let me choose um, and i had picked out a couple of things and so um, and we're going to do that and then we're going to do kind of like a plan with me with the items but to let you in on a little secret um, it's not anything that i'm going to start doing a lot of and i don't even know if i'll do this on my channel but i've been dabbling in bullet journaling or i don't even know if you'd call it bullet journaling because i don't draw in the the little planner that I've got but um, I, I picked up a little planner from the Dollar Tree and it's really cute actually I'll show it to you real fast um, that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and it's so cute it's got like a little faux leather uh, cover and it just says plan on the front and in it there's just blank pages and I just thought it was so cute and for um, a dollar what 25 now at the Dollar Tree I um, uh, picked one up just to just to kind of play around with it and so what I've been doing lately um, is uh, just decorating it with just stickers and so don't judge me this isn't anything um, really good or anything like that but it's just fun to kind of play around with the washi and the stickers that I've got and so I pulled in just different ones and happy planner stickers and all kinds of different ones and so I kind of just been dabbling and <laughs> I think those were from plenty thing but anyway just to kind of give you an idea on what I've been doing and um, so what we're going to do today is another uh, one of these little spreads with what they sent me because the reason why I jumped at the chance to let them send me these products is because they have a lot of items for these types of spreads. Um, they have pens and washi and just all kinds of different things, mostly though art supplies. And um, I'm not very artistic and so I didn't pick out the paints or anything, but if you like to paint or watercolor, um, you should definitely check them out. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this and you guys will see this again in a minute um, so let's go ahead and see what they sent so um, the first thing I see here are some stickers that I, I did pick these out so let's go ahead and pull this stuff out um, and let's see here it's a code I actually have a coupon code um, to share with you they're offering one here but mine is Amanda 15 and you can say 15% um, on their website and I will for sure link their site down below and the items I'm showing you today um, It just comes kind of with a little art card, which is kind of cute We can color if we want to so that is also included and then I had also picked out some brush pens and these are from Guanya if I'm saying that correctly I don't know if you guys can see that through that packaging um, but they are brush sign pens and they are a uh, little bit different than the brush pens that I've used on my channel before. They've got kind of the bigger tip and I'm not against that. It's just that you have to write a little bit bigger. And so we're going to try those out and we're going to look through these stickers so I can show you what they look like. I haven't even really looked at them because I wanted to uh, look th through them with you guys on this video. Uh, so let's start with the stickers. So the, per the package that I bought, or excuse me, I didn't buy it, but they sent me included four packs. So you just purchase the one set and it comes with these and these will be linked down below. Um, so there's just different little sets here. Let's see. We're just gonna go ahead and pull them all out so you can see what is included. I'm trying to get them out. Okay, yeah, all four sheets. I think there's three sheets in four sets. So there's 12 sheets total. Um, so let's do this. I'm gonna pull a piece of white paper over and lay these out so you guys can see them all at one time. This is one set is so cute. I really love the greens, the avocados. Um, I'm not sure what this is called, but with the little glass dome sitting over it, I can't remember what that's called right off the top of my head. Um, but you can see there's definitely uh, lots of greenery 
I don't know if you can see how well you can see those. I'll show you each of those. Hopefully you guys are seeing a good up close shot of those. Um, the stickers, well, what you might be noticing is the, the plastic that the stickers are on is really shiny, uh, but the stickers themselves are not. They're, they're matte, which I like. So, all right, so that's one set. This one looks more of like a purple set. So we'll get into it. Whoop, I am sticking to it. <laughs> oh goodness, what did I do? Okay, that's that's okay. Not too bad. All right, so purple, we've got the irises, which is the state flower from where um, I, I am from. It's the state flower of Tennessee. Tulips really pretty some butterflies I saw there hydrangeas I love hydrangeas they are so pretty those right there I believe are hydrangeas uh, and I love the books like that those are already on kind of like a little bujo spread just so cute and um, one thing I'm noticing here this says violet the light was beginning to drain from a violet sky so it's a tiny little quote that's really cool all right so that's the purple set let me see if you guys are seeing that in frame. Yes. Okay, so we'll move these over. And then the red and pinks it looks like. I'll try to get these out without that sticking like I did a minute ago. There we go. That was better. Oh, these are cute. Look at the pink apple. How cute is that? And little, two again, some tulips, a rose, and the little clipboard. I just think those are so pretty. We may have to use this pink set to start with. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> All right, look at the planner, you guys. It's almost like a little journal though. I don't know if that would be considered a planner, but it's really, really cute. Okay, and that is the pink set laid on the white paper. Um, so you can maybe get a better look at what those look like. Look at the cute little letters, little envelopes with the ties. The detail in these stickers is really, really good. All right, so that's the pink and red. And then the last set of the stickers are yellows and oranges. And I even see some blues mixed in, which is gonna be probably a favorite of mine if I had to guess, because I do love the yellow and blue flowers together. All right, so we've got, yeah, so some, uh, looks like maybe some sunflowers, um, roses, really pretty with the, the kind of purplish blue mixed in and the orange, how pretty, oh, so pretty. Oh, look, I love the little one with the little seeds and acorn, that's really cute, and a stamp, how cute. I know I keep saying cute, but that's what they are. <laughs> they're just, they're kind of little, um, but it's but it's perfect though for that small uh, bullet journal style, traveler's notebook style of um, decorating. And um, so yeah, that's the yellow set. Cute little blue ribbon. So pretty. All right, so the next thing that we'll do before we move on, I will show you the pens. So I chose these from their website. They have two sizes available. They have the larger tip and the smaller tip. These are the larger tips. So when you see these, um, just know that you can choose the tip size on these. And I'm gonna go ahead and do kind of like a pen swatch for each color for you. And um, we'll try to do this kind of fast. I don't wanna take a whole lot of time. Uh, going through each color, but I definitely want to see each color. And so one thing I can tell about that I like about these is already that there's definitely some really pretty jewel tones. Um, so I'm just going to write, um, let's see, I think I'll just write hello with the first one, just so you guys can see how they write. And then we'll just do a color swatch of each one. Okay. All right, so that is the brush pen. And you can see that the tip is really uh, 
uh, kind of big compared to what I normally use. Let me show you um, one of the pins that I use on my channel mostly, um, the tip size compared to this one. So this is considered a small brush tip. Ignore how it's kind of bent. I've used this pin a lot, um, but that is a small brush tip. This would be considered more of like a medium brush tip um, because there are brush tips that are a lot larger than that. And so this is kind of a good mixture of in between. If you're learning, I would suggest going with this tip, which is available in this set um, for sure. And if you wanna use the pins in say your planner, I would go with the smaller tip. If you're wanting to use them more for like larger things, writing out words, um, Bujo spreads where you maybe write a word, um, the medium size would be a good option as well. So let me move this pen out of the way and then I will go through and we'll make a swatch of all of the colors. So here's the green. And this looks kind of like a, kind of like a cranberry color maybe. Oh yeah, look how pretty that is. I love how muted these colors are too. They're kind of like jewel tones. I don't know if I've said that already. Um, it's a really pretty dark red. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just take these out of the package just so I'm not having to finagle with it over and over while I'm doing this. And that makes me, uh, that'll be easier. Okay. All right. So we've got the three colors. Here's like a gray. Make sure you guys can see this, which is almost like a charcoal. That's really cool. Um, this is like a plum color. How pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. Brown. This is probably gonna be a navy, maybe. Ooh, so dark. It probably looks black on your screen, but that is a really dark navy. So pretty. Here's like a kind of a golden orange rust color. It's really pretty. Make sure I'm getting all these colors in here. And that's a, a blue, that's kind of a navy too. That's a not quite as dark as that one. Really dark green. That's really um, an interesting color. You don't see very often in brush pens. I will say that because I've got a lot of brush pens, you guys. And that's a really pretty blue color. And then the last one is black. There you go. So you can kind of see all the colors here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to see, maybe you can see a good, um, get a good idea of what those colors look like. And so there you go, that's the brush pen set. And then um, the next thing I wanna do, because I want you guys to see these stickers in action and maybe even the brush pens, <laughs> I'm gonna pull together a quick Bujo spread. And again, don't laugh at me. It's I'm such a beginner at this. I just think it's so fun to just be able to throw the stickers together. It goes against my grain because if you watch any of my normal plan with me videos, you know the stickers are straight. Everything is kind of kind of uh, neat, and I just uh, like I said, it kind of goes against my grain, but I really like it. The the few spreads that I've done that I showed you at the beginning of the video um, have been fun, even though I don't think they look that great. Um, it's been fun. So let me move this stuff out of the way and get set up for that, and I'll be right back. All right, so I ended up deciding on using the yellow package. Let me tell you why. I thought it would be really pretty to incorporate this green pen with these yellow uh, flowers with some of the greenery mixed in. Um, I think it's gonna be a really pretty um, Bujo spread. And one of the things I'm gonna do, I normally don't pick um, a word of the year, um, but I, I got to thinking if I had to pick one, I don't have to pick one, but if I wanted to pick one, which I kind of decided I did, I thought the word balance was a good word because one of the things that I struggle with is finding a balance between work, church, YouTube, planning, because some of my stuff's not on YouTube. Um, just extracurricular activities, going places, going out to eat, and just finding that balance of all the things in that in life that we do and making time for those things that are important that need to be done, um, but also time for things that we want to do. And so I am, I kind of struggle with kind of putting myself all into one thing with and, and letting other things go at times and then kind of going back and forth. And so um, that's what I decided. So I'm gonna write the word balance in my little planner here. Again, I picked this up at the Dollar Tree. So if you guys um, uh, 
find it, let me know in the comments below. I do also, though, I can tell you, Grabby has uh, little journals on their website. I did see, and so definitely check them out. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to skip this page because I don't want this to show through. I can put something else on that later. Um, but for this spread, I want to just, I'm going to write the word balance on this page. And what I'm going to do so that I don't, um, so it doesn't bleed through is... Um, I'm gonna fold this piece of paper in half and put it underneath here. And then that way, if it does bleed through, it's just on this page. And then when you're doing something like this and that bleeds through, you could either cover it up with another piece of paper or some you know, pattern paper or whatever, or you can just tape runner these together. And so that way it's kind of hidden and you don't have to worry about it. That's one of the good things about these little journals. At first it was kind of, um, I didn't, I didn't try this because I was like, no, I, I like my, you know, the flexibility of being able to move my pages around and stuff with the planners that I use. Um, but I have really enjoyed this. So enough talking, Amanda, let me, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm just kind of putting off trying to write this this word in there um okay so it's okay we're gonna just do it if we mess up we'll skip a page and try again all right so balance is what i'm gonna write So that turned out pretty good. I really love how the the dimension in the in the ink is showing through. So there's a little darker on this end and light on that end. I, I, I like the look of that. Um, so the I mean you could kind of go over it if you want it all to be really dark but that's probably also where I was just pushing down a little bit too hard um, I'm not used to this size of brush pen um, but anyway I think it turned out really pretty so now what we're gonna do well first let's see if it bled through yeah it did a little bit I was kind of expecting that just because this is a really super thin paper um, so I'm not I'm not worried about that um, so let's see let's go ahead and get started putting some of these stickers down my, my thought was is that we would um, just go around the edges somehow. Um, but first we'll start with maybe some bigger stickers. Okay, you guys, I just noticed something. <laughs> I should have probably realized this, but these aren't cut out. And I'm okay with that because I can take my scissors. Actually, let me, let me put this together. Uh, it's wrinkled. Uh, let's see. This is an honest um, review and featured on my channel, so um, I'm just going to be totally honest with you guys. I didn't know that they weren't individual stickers when I picked these out, but it's going to be okay because we can take our scissors and cut them apart just like that, and that's probably how they're designed anyway. Um, like I said, I'm not even worried about that. We're going to go ahead and just cut around the ones we want to use. I may fast forward through some of this. Um, so here's what we can do. This is pretty cool actually, because look at this. Now I can take this sticker and kind of lay them out how I want. Well, that's upside down, but I can lay it around my page how I want and just make, uh, make my selections and then kind of stick them all down. So this works out okay. I'm not too worried about it. So I'm gonna go through and cut out this, the ones I want to use and um, I will be right back. This is going to be enough to get us started. Um, so what I did is I, I did avoid the blue and yellow flowers and I kept those separate because I want to use those maybe later. I didn't want to mix the blue with this spread. And so what I did is went through each sheet and just cut out some different things that I thought I could use. And then we'll just kind of go from here. And so one of the things I'm noticing like, a, like this, well, let me trim this little smidge in here because I got a little too much on there. Okay. So, um, it's cool to be able to kind of lay it around um, just where you want to before you decide. Um, one of the things I'm also noticing, I don't have any any of these green um, little 
items on here. So I think I want to pull in this little tag. And there is a little quote on here I might could use. It's kind of small, but I think that might be okay. We're gonna, I'm gonna trim it up just in case. All right, so I think what I wanna do is start with the biggest items. So, Okay, I like this here. So then the trick is gonna be to see how hard these are to get apart. Not bad. So you just take and from the front and run your thumb over it. I just had it, I felt it. There it goes. It's kinda of like that. And I was about to put that upside down. So. That's so pretty. And I love that they're matte, that these are really nice. All right, so I'm just laying my little clear pieces off to the side. Um, so I'm gonna take this and maybe turn it a little bit kind of sideways so they're not all just lined up. So, I kind of wanted all of that, most of that in the on the page. So I'm gonna pull it over like mm, that maybe. And then I'll just trim with my scissors. I don't wanna knock my little flowers everywhere. So I'm gonna try to do this without turning it all the way. Okay, that takes a little bit getting used to when you're planning in a book like this. Um, the uh, Cutting, uh, cutting the edges when they're uh, attached is a little bit harder. Okay, let's go ahead and add in some of the little flowers. Let's pull this one in over here. Maybe turn it like that. And I'll use this little bitty scrap. Um, we'll just put it right there. I kinda like that look. We might could add some more into the spine. We're gonna bring this one kinda up in the corner here, and then I'll trim it and use that scrap too. We'll bring this right down here. Well, we'll bring it down here, kind of away from that other. I don't know if you can hear my dog. Her, she's stomping around back there. Her little, uh, her, her nails kind of hit the hardwood floor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna layer this one right in between those. That's pretty. Tiny little daisies here. Whoop, if I don't drop them, what do I do with them? Oh, there they went. So getting them apart is actually pretty easy. At first I thought it might be a little bit hard, um, but it's not bad. We're just gonna put those right there. And maybe we can layer these with the tag somehow. Like right there. And then, oop, I didn't want to stick it right there. Well, I keep letting it stick down. <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. Kind of wanted it more like right there. Okay, awesome. I love that. Let's put this little quote on here. I don't know if you can read that. Um, it just says, we will go ashore in the end 
wherever we go, the sun is shining and the flowers are blooming. That's a nice quote. I don't know if I'll be able to read it, but it's okay. We'll put it on here anyway. <laughs> I'm going to put it right here. Oop. Well, they're really sticky, so you kind of have to be careful where you put them. Uh, okay, there you go. Where you let them stick down, I mean. Okay, I like that right there. All right, let's see. I want to fill it in a little bit more, so I'm going to go back through my stickers. Here's another little quote. Let me trim this one out. Now, the little quotes are a little bit shiny, but that's okay. This one says, remember to bring a little smile every day in this messy life. Isn't that true? Life is not perfect, so we have to enjoy the good parts of it, right? All right, so maybe this one can come over here. And then I want to pull in a little bit more of this green. So I'm going to bring in, let's see, I really love that. I don't want to use that because I'd have to cut it off. So I'm going to pull in, let's do this one. And I'm just trimming kind of close uh, now that I see uh, that I'm still getting a little bit of that shiny. It doesn't bother me though. But the closer you cut them, the, the less shiny you're going to have on there. And I mean, you could spend all the time you want to trimming them out, but I would rather just do it a little quicker and not worry about it. Okay. All right. So those are, it's kind of like a little seed packet it looks like. I don't know, maybe a little love note. So I'm going to bring this in right here. And then let's see what this would look like up here kind of layered. That's okay. I thought I like that. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have. The roses are pretty. I've got these. Let's go ahead and maybe use these up. There's one, and then just a couple more little things on here, and I think we're going to be done, you guys. I really like this set. Um, it was a little different than what I thought I was getting, uh, which is okay. It's kind of a nice surprise, something different. I don't have anything like this in my stash, so this is really cool to be able to try out something new and see if I like it, and I do. Um, definitely love the artwork and the style of the artwork rather let's see a little bit more off of that one and then i'm going to trim this little bitty flower out and we're going to be done after we stick these down all right now this is the little test let's see if i can get this apart yep came right apart so like i said the trick is to just kind of bend it forward i'm going to use my tweezers to place this down i do love to use my tweezers um, let's see, we'll put it right here, and then we've got this book here, and then kind of like that, maybe there, and then the rose we can maybe pull in over here. Oh, if I don't drop it. And I kind of liked how that layered, so I'm going to maybe layer this across well, I've been trying to avoid my quote though, and, or excuse me, my word and the quote. So maybe kind of like that, and then we can trim that little edge off. Perfect. And then let's do this one. And I think, let's see, does that have a right side up? It kind of does. It looks like it's a letter got like a little postmark there so I kind of like that layered with those flowers perfect 
All right. All right, I love it, you guys. Um, definitely is different than what I usually have on my channel. Um, and that's okay. Like I said, it's really cool to try something new and, um, you know, you know, just add to my collection of supplies. And that, like I said, I'd already started with the, I'm sorry, the little clear parts was sticking to my fingers. Um, but I had already started my bullet journal anyway, just with random stickers I already had. And actually these were sent to me from Gravy. These are the item that I'd picked out um, previously and they're like a realistic floral. I don't know if they still have these or not. Um, but definitely I will be linking um, this product, the, um, the little stickers that we use today and also the brush pens, which were the Guanya, if I'm saying that correctly, um, sign brush pens um, with the tip that's a little bit bigger than what you've seen on my channel, but definitely doable and a good, um, a good pen to try to learn with if you haven't um, started hand lettering. Um, and if you do hand letter, um, if you try them, you know, let me know, let me know how they turn out if you like them. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you place an order, don't forget to use my code AMANDA15 uh, to save 15% off your order with Grabby. And thank you to Grabby for sending these items to me. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye.